In this video, I'm going to go through a couple of quick examples as to how um, you should or could write numbers as percentages. I'm going to go through the basic concept, different techniques as well. So, um, percentage, as you know, is something written out of 100. So, um, you can write any number as a percentage, any number represented as 100. It could be written as a fraction, something over 100, so that would be 5%, or the more shortened way of writing it would be 5%. Um, now you could write different numbers as percentages. If we get a whole number, um, then this can be written as a percentage by noticing that this is a 3 over 1. And your goal with every single number, every single example, is to turn the denominator into 100. Um, so in this case, to turn the denominator into 100, I'm going to multiply this by 100. But if I multiply the denominator by 100, I need to multiply the numerator by 100. And that way, I'm, I'll be able to maintain the value of this fraction. So this ends up being 300 over 100. And therefore, 3 as a number is basically 300%. Um, and yes, you are allowed to have numbers over 100%. And it makes more sense when you're talking about things related to money. Um, so something that increased by a value and now it's 300% more. Um, so this makes more sense later on. Uh, let's say you had a fraction. So it's already a fraction. It's not a whole number. Um, but the standard denominator is out of 200. Your goal is always to change the denominator to 100, whether it's to multiply or to divide. Um, in this case, I'm going to divide by um, I'm going to divide by two, and I'm going to divide the numerator by two. Again, you need to maintain the value of this fraction. So whatever you do at the bottom, you have to do at the top. So 200 divided by two would give you a hundred. And 6 divided by 2 would give you 3, and so this is 3%. So 6 over 200 is basically saying 3%. Um, another example is when you have a decimal, so say 0 0.4. Um, terminating decimals are nice. Terminating, uh, what I mean by terminating is that they don't continue forever. They're nice because you can easily change them to fractions. So 0 0.4 is the same as 4 over 10. And so I can change the denominator to 100 by multiplying by 10, I get numerator by 10, and I get 40 over 100, which is basically 40%. Um, but what if you get numbers that are not in a nice form? So either they're decimals that uh, don't terminate, or they're fractions that have a non-terminating decimal. So let's say 12 over 29. 12 over 29, there's no way I could multiply 29 by any number to any nice whole number to change it to 100. Um, obviously, there would be a number, but it won't be a nice one. Um, and so the best technique to change any number, even the previous ones, to a fraction is to get the decimal form of this number. So this would be 0 0.41379, and this is me rounding it to um, five decimal places. So I didn't write the whole number down. Um, so you get the decimal number, and then you'll take the decimal number, and slightly, um, so you'll take the decimal number, and you're going to multiply it by 100. So it's the same concept as um, there, you're just, you're trying to convert this to the 100%. So um, this will give you 41.379, and you can run this to 41.38%. Um, so now you've represented this fraction as a percentage. So 12 over 29 is you basically, basically saying 41.38%. Um, there's also the concept of you, um, 
putting all of this percentage into actual um, concepts. So we've done percentages, we've known how to convert everything to percentages, but what do they actually mean? Well, remember that when you're writing things as fractions, you're always representing a part over a whole. So you have the, the your whole is one and you're taking three parts of that. Your whole is 200, you're taking six of that. Um, your whole is 10 and you're taking four parts of that. And another way to talk about these parts and wholes, which are called proportions, is to use percentages. So this is how we talk about proportions, about taking a part from a whole. So you, you taking four out of 10 is basically you taking 40%. And you taking 12 out of 29 is you basically taking 41% of that 29. So you always refer back to your whole. Um, this is the most important part. And the thing you're representing is the um, part. So if I put a more concrete example, so if I say um, I started with something, um, any object, so let's say flour, 550 grams, and you took a bit from it and it got reduced to 473 grams. So the question is how much or what is the percentage? is the percentage that was taken away. And you could answer that by, well, you know how to change things to, fr to percentages. You also know how to represent the difference in quantities. Well, let's link those two concepts together. So first you wanna ask yourself, um, how much was taken away and how much was taken away can easily be calculated by taking 500 sorry 550 minus 473 and that will be 77 now you're going to represent this as a proportion and so you took 77 of 550 so that's how many you took. And we know how to change um, fractions to percentages. So next step is to change it to percentage. And that's going to be 707, sorry, 77 over 550 times 100. And that you will be able to get the answer directly in the calculator if you put that in. Um, but also do practice or notice if you can do things by hand because you might get these questions in a non-calculator paper. Well, if we simplify this, you'll notice that you can actually divide by 11 here. So you get 7 over 50. And so the 7 over 50, you can multiply the 50 by 2 and the 7 by 2. And so you end up with 14 over 100. And so you actually took out 14%. Um, so this is a long step of going through it. Obviously, the more comfortable you are with these questions, you'll immediately go to the step or the first and then third step. So this is how much it was reduced. Well, if you want to know how, how much was taken away as a percentage, well, first you need to know how much was taken away and then how much has to be represented as a proportion. And as so this proportion converted to a percentage. So again, you can use this method if you are, if you can change the denominator to 100, or you can just use the method of um, changing this to a decimal, which should give you 0 0.14, and then multiplying it by 100, which will give you 14%. Um, so I can illustrate the last two, so this was method, um, method one. Method two, just combining everything we've done above, uh, we could have gone with um, 77 over 550, which would have given us 0 0.14. And then we take the 0 0.14 and then multiply by 100, and that would have given us 14. Um, and that would be represented as a percentage. Um, or just take the fraction there, so that would be method 
too. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, the next video will deal with percentage um, of an amount, which is quite an important concept to get into.